Um, arrows in the back. And uh, that was a good starting point. We really liked that stuff. And what we said to ourselves, well, we also want to make sure that it's still red a little bit on the swifter side and also a little bit more deadly, so to speak. So we add a little bit more uh, of an edge to the character. But that still wasn't quite where we wanted the character to be. And uh, while we already liked it a lot and we really thought there were some really great, great concepts going on with it already, um, there's something missing. We didn't quite know what we needed to add to it. What we started to do is we started to add elements to them to give it a little bit of a twist. Um, most of the uh, Diablo classes we do, we always give it a little bit of a twist, a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a, a little extra something. Uh, in this case, what we started doing is we started adding a certain melee aspects. We had short daggers, short swords, even fist weapons. And you can see some armor on the chest there. And as we iterated on this, we even added a little bit more of that. Uh, we had cowls and uh, a lot of different elements like that. And as you can see, a lot of our products take a lot of development. Um, one of the things that what we started to realize as we went through all these concepts was that it really didn't start to read ranged anymore. It started reading more and more like an assassin. It started reading a little bit like a uh, melee class. And so really, at that point, we sort of said to ourselves, you know what, we need to take a break. We sort of need to slow down, rethink what we're doing. And what we did is we sort of uh, decided to look a little bit more at more concepts and really sort of go back to the basics and sort of rethink from the get-go what we wanted to do with this class. Uh, there's a few questions we asked ourselves at this point. Uh, one of them was that we had announced the monk class uh, the previous year and we said to ourselves, you know what, we really wanted to make a class now that was a little bit on the darker side. The one that you didn't quite know where they stood with uh, uh, in the world and what their outlook was and everything. Um, we also knew that we wanted to make the class a little bit more mysterious so that you didn't quite know the history about the character. Um, the other thing that was really, really important to us was that we're huge fans of Diablo 2, obviously, and we really wanted to make sure that we had a class in our lineup that was a little bit more on the medieval side, a little bit more gothic, uh, and really harken back and pay tribute to the Diablo 2 uh, classes. Uh, of course, most importantly, we want to make sure that it read ranged. So, what do we do? We came up with a demon hunter, and that's what you're seeing today. So, how do you make a demon hunter? First off, we started with uh, the craziest thing we could think of. And we said, well, what if it was a demonic demon hunter? What if it's a demon hunting demons? And as you can see, here's a concept of a fully blown demon. And we really liked this concept. We thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, it only had two problems with it. One of them was that in the Diablo universe, uh, our heroes really have to be human. Uh, this really, they're pitted against the uh, hordes of hell, and having a hero that's demonic uh, would be probably a problem. Um, also, there was a problem in terms of maybe designing gameplay around the changeling or changeable, shape-shifting class. So we went back and said to ourselves, well, what if you just make him part demon? And uh, in this particular case, you see uh, the concept with uh, a very large de uh, demon hunter uh, concept design that has a demonic arm. Uh, one of the uh, issues we had at that point was we were worried about the fact that maybe, well, if this guy walks into town and he's trying to sell his wares or try to buy something, uh, maybe the townspeople wouldn't quite uh, go along with it, seeing the demon arm. And uh, also, the size and the bulkiness of them at this point felt very strong, and, and it, we weren't sure if it would really feel ranged or fast and swift and agile as we were uh, hoping for. Um, and of course, the arm implies melee because it's so thick and strong. Now, we changed all those things at that point. We said, you know what, let's go a little sleeker, a little bit more agile. Uh, we decided to go with a design that only had armor up until the rib cage, and then below the uh, rib cage was very light and leathery. Uh, we also decided to go with uh, uh, dual crossbows, because we thought that would really be cool. Um, we were still holding on to the demon arm. We thought we maybe could pull it off. Um, but what we started finding is, as people were playing it, they really, really, really um, uh, wanted to hit things with the demon arm. They felt like uh, it, it's just something you really want to use. So at some point, we sort of had to say goodbye to it. And again, it also uh, messed with the human part. So last but not least, what we ended up with was this design, and it's very close to the previous one. And as you can see, it had a cowl. It's a little bit more on the dark side and a little bit mysterious. It still reads very fast and swift. And of course, we also want to make sure it had a dark vibe to it, that it really read very, very uh, uh, anti-hero-ish in, in, in that sense. 
and uh, also a little bit of that medieval vibe that we're talking about. And of course, most importantly, that it red ranged. And I'm gonna pass this on to Paul and he'll show you how it was done in 3D. Thanks. All right, so I'm Paul Worska. I'm the uh, character lead on Diablo 3. And I'm gonna pick up where Christian just left off there and walk you guys through the modeling, texturing, and the animation of the Demon Hunter. So right off the bat, we had this concept, and at this point we're like, okay, this character, she hits the mark. Yeah, there's like two guys that got that joke there. Um, <laughs> uh, so we had this character, and she was kind of a sexy character. Uh, I know Christian didn't get into that very much, but at this point we had some characters like the, the monk. You have this holy monk, you've got this kind of creepy witch doctor. Um, you have the barbarian female, if you're into that sort of thing. Awesome. Um, but we wanted somebody who's physically attractive, um, and for all the ladies in the crowd, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, we're working on the male demon hunter right now. We're trying to make him equally as attractive. Thanks, Kristen. Um, so she hit the ranged archetype, obviously. Uh, we also really wanted to have a character that's a much darker vibe, because like Christian said, we've got a holy monk, you've got the kind of flamboyant witch doc or, uh, or wizards. Um, so yeah, we wanted a dark character, and honestly, she just looked plain cool at this point. So we take this, uh, take this concept, and it's time for us to start asking ourselves, well, how do you gear this character up? You know, we've, we've had a character who's got a cowl. Well, how do you upgrade a cowl? We, we got to start thinking about how those caps work. Um, and we also start thinking about what makes the character visually distinct from the rest of the, the classes. So the character team keyed in on, on three big things with this character. Number one, the character has a scarf. Uh, when you are running with a demon hunter, you know, out of the corner of your eye, you might see that character that's, that's just a little ways away from the, uh, the crowd. She's got that flowing cloth. Right away, you know that the demon hunter's there. Uh, you're also going to see, from game cam, you're being able to see this character's legs, unlike the, uh, you know, the wizard and the monk. Uh, and also, we keyed into this arm guard, which kind of helps her silhouette pop a little bit more. So what we do is, uh, the very first thing we do on the modeling side is we go ahead and create what we call a naked look for the demon hunter. Uh, we do this with all our classes. This is the look that it's basically before you've done any gearing up. Uh, we put this together and we hand it on to animation, uh, and in this case, Non went ahead and he came up with a bunch of poses that he thought really captured the attitude of the character. And the cool thing, at least for the t inside the team, is that this is the first time you see a character that, that you get it. Like, you see it and you're like, okay, I get the attitude of this character. She's kind of pissed off, you know, she's angry. She's just got a lot of attitude. So based on that, we go ahead and we build up kind of 